best thing I could have ever added to my setup is a monitor light bar. When people first see my setup with all of my RGB lights turned on, I get so many comments saying, oh my god, overkill, that's way too harsh on the eyes, your eyes must be fried. But in reality, 99% of the time, I only have lights behind my monitor on and a monitor light bar. I actually use my monitor light bar during the day, especially if it's more cloudy, and always at night. I've even found it so helpful as a content creator to illuminate my desk surface where I unbox products to show you guys. And because I've had a curve monitor for two years now, I'm always trying to find a new monitor light bar that fits my monitor since there aren't many curved ones on the market right now. Now the product I'm showing today isn't necessarily curved shaped, however it still advertises that it works well with curved monitors, so I'm super excited to try it out and share my thoughts. Before we get into that though, let's first understand what a monitor light bar is and does. It's a sleek LED lighting bar designed to provide optimal illumination to your workspace. Typically it attaches to the back of your monitor by resting on top of the balancing system and casts a soft indirect light that helps reduce eye strain, enhances productivity, and adds a touch of aesthetic appeal to your setup. Working long hours in front of a screen can take a toll on your eyes. A monitor light bar with its adjustable brightness levels and color temperatures provides consistent and uniform lighting across your desk. This reduces eye strain, minimizes headaches, and promotes a more comfortable working environment. I've gotten a few comments before saying that it doesn't make sense to add a light that reflects light onto my actual monitor, and I want to clarify that that does not happen. I can see a reflection of my monitor light bar only on my monitor's bezel, not actually on the screen itself, so it never interferes with what I'm doing. Another note is glare. I've personally never experienced glare since I've used anti-glare or matte monitors, but that shouldn't be a problem in general. And if it is, your monitor light bar might not be fitting your monitor properly, and you should probably look into getting another one that's better suited. Now let's get into the new monitor light bar that I'd like to share with you that claims to also work well with curved monitors. This is the Quintus Pro Plus monitor light bar with remote control, and it can be found on Amazon for $69.99 USD or $79.99 Canadian. So the batteries are for the remote control, not the actual monitor light bar, don't worry. It comes with a USB-C to USB cable and a little manual. I'm not sure what these are just yet, but we'll figure that out soon. So monitor light bars always come with a heavier base just so that they can balance properly on your monitor. This one's quite heavy. Here is a first look at it out of the box. It's like a nice matte black. It's not the smoothest thing in the world, but I also don't want it to be very smooth and slippery because then it won't kind of snap into place and hold properly, so that's okay. Also, this isn't like a $300 monitor light bar. This is a very affordable option, so I'm not expecting the most incredible $500 quality ever, right? So I've actually used a more expensive monitor light bar than this. It was nowhere near this quality. So out of the box, I'm impressed, but of course we need to see how this works. Oh, this is actually kind of interesting. So there's a little bit of a lip and I can stick my nail in between. I'm not sure. I think that's just for the tactile, or the haptic feedback so that you get a really nice click. Okay, so to open the bottom, cover, it looks like you press down and this pops open. Before I set this up, I'm gonna quickly read just some specs that are on the box. So it says, of course, wireless remote, manual stepless dimming, asymmetrical light source. You have a lamp length of 1.7 feet. Here is your color temperature range. We have adjustable brightness from five to 100%, five watts. I saw something, I think it was a manual that said about lumens, 285 lumens. This is my beautiful monitor. It is the Alienware AW3420DW. There is the newer version that is OLED. Mine is the version before that. I love it, it's great, it's curved. Like I've mentioned, I've never been able to find a monitor light bar that fits this, so hopefully this is a winner because I've always had to like put double-sided tape on here or here so that it properly balances at the back of my monitor because I've had so many that just fall and end up actually sitting and resting on the screen my monitor is rather thick. Okay, so this is adjustable in the sense that you can change the width or the depth of this, pull this out so that it snaps properly into your monitor. The remote is working. I'm gonna spin it a little bit more out so that it doesn't point so much on my monitor shelf. I do have a really deep desk. It is 70 by 30 inches. So naturally I am gonna get a bit more light directly under the monitor instead of like, let's say on my keyboard. So other monitor bars that I've had, it kind of gradually fades on, but this one is a very quick snappy turn on and off. 
Okay, so one short press is obviously to turn it on and off, and then a long press for five seconds flashes the light once and turns on the lamp's timer for two hours. So if you want to change the color temperature from cool to warm, you need to rotate the top plate. So right now it's cool, let's do warm. And then if you wanna dim and work with the brightness, you turn the base. So we'll go back to color temperature. That is warm. And that is cool tone. The difference between the Quintus modular light bar and a competitor's. So here is a competitor's dial. It literally just comes apart in my hand. I've been having so many issues with the bottom cover for some reason. So I just kind of deal with the fact that it will come off. But this is like hollow, cheap. You can tell, you can hear it when I'm just moving it around. And this, there's none of that. It feels well made. It's got more weight to it, and it just has nicer build quality in general. Definitely prefer this dial. I also really like the fact that there's a top turntable and the base. I've never seen one where the color temperature is controlled on a completely different little turntable. Turntable, is that what it's called? Upper cover plate. <laughs> Still, it's really cool. I typically like to keep my little remote controls down here, just so they're still kind of out of the way and not on my main space, but still in a very reachable spot. In terms of how well it fits my curved monitor, I will definitely agree that it does. I also really like that it comes up quite high so that it doesn't interfere at all with my screen. I'll give you a little preview of what it looks like from the back. Really nice clearance. Definitely fits a curved monitor. So many other ones will be all the way back here with their light and will actually shine light on to my monitor and like right here where at least this comes out quite a bit. A little tip for cable managing this, you can just stick a piece of double-sided tape right underneath and stick it to the base and that's it. It won't stick up like this anymore. So far I'm really enjoying this. I love the quality. I think it's great especially for the price. I have seen some super expensive monitor light bars that are essentially the same thing just maybe a bit brighter but I really don't think you need to splurge to have a good monitor light bar. They all essentially do the same thing but you really want to make sure you find one that fits your monitor properly and still provides the amount of brightness that you need. So I will leave this link below. I'll try and find all links for like Amazon US, UK, Canada, anywhere else on the internet. If you have any questions of how it's doing in the future, comment down below and when the time comes, I'll give you guys an update to see how it's faring, how much I like it. You'll notice that I obviously have two monitors, so I don't typically feel like I ever need a monitor light bar on this one because this is my main. I don't need light pointing down right there. So, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found it a little bit helpful. You can always find everything in my setup in the description. I got you, I link every single thing, and if I don't have any links, pop me a question on Instagram or down below and I will respond. I'm gonna go be productive and by productive, maybe play some games instead. We'll see, but yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.